We're now going to graph rational functions that contain oblique asymptotes. And so the basic pattern is the same. We still find our footholes after factoring. We still find our x and our y intercept by plugging in 0 and setting them just the numerator equal to 0. We still look for our vertical asymptotes, but instead of finding a horizontal asymptote, we're going to look for an oblique asymptote. So we're going to start with an example that should be familiar, x squared plus 2 over x minus 1. Notice this came from our last video, and this is pretty straightforward. For our x, there's no holes because I can't factor any farther. The x-intercept, x squared plus 2 equals 0, x squared equals a minus 2. Well, this, is, this becomes imaginary, and we can't graph it, so there's no real, there's no zeros, no real zeros. For our y, when we plug in x, we get 0 squared plus 2 over 0 minus 1, which is 2 over minus 1, so minus 2. So we could plot that point right here. Notice that our x minus 1 is a vertical asymptote at x equals 1, which we have drawn here. And so for our last step, we just need to perform that division. 1, 0, 2 with a 1 on the outside gives me x plus 1 plus 3 over x minus 1. Remember, we ignore that part, so all I have to do is graph this line. It starts here, and it's got a positive 1 slope. And so it's just this line going through here, and that shouldn't be solid, it should be dashed, because it's an asymptote, it's not actually part of our graph. Well now, we know that we never cross this line, and so from over here, and we've got to be below, we know that our graph has to kind of hug up here, and it's got to come over, and it's going to follow our slant on the way out. On the other hand, our upper portion is going to do something like this, and again, it's going to follow the slant on the way out. So that's what we need to do to graph this oblique. We also have this one, x squared minus 4 over x plus 1. This time, x squared minus 4 equals 0, so x squared equals 4, so x equals plus or minus 2. So we get zeros at 2 and minus 2. We have a vertical asymptote at negative 1, because x can't be negative 1. And we have a y-intercept at negative 4, because we get negative 4 over 1 when x is 0. So all we have left is our to find our oblique, so we do our division. And again, we ignore the remainder. We just have this set at x minus 1. So it starts at minus 1, and again, it goes up 1. So it's going to go get this slant like this. And again, we look at where we cross, and notice that right here, we start under, and so it looks like it's going to do something like this, and it's going to cr cross through here, and then it's going to follow our straight line on the way out. And on this one, since this one went down, it's going to pass through, and it's going to hit, and then follow out. And so there's our graph of x squared minus 4 over x plus 1. And so graphing obliques works just the same, except that instead of being a horizontal line, we get a slant on it. But that's how we graph rational functions containing obliques.